Hello, dear friends. One thing you often hear people say is, I'm not a half measure kind of guy. I go full in. Doing things halfway is not an admirable quality. And yet, there's a big positive in feeling like a half. What does that mean, you ask? Well, in the beginning of this week's Torah portion, God commands the Jewish people that they each donate a half a shekel to the temple. Not a full shekel, even though they could afford it. They needed to bring a half and nothing more. Why a half? Because God was teaching them a super important lesson. One person alone is incomplete. They need the other to be whole. This lesson is as relevant today as ever. I need you. You need me. Alone we are incomplete. You know, it's been a year since we entered lockdown when we were forced to be physically apart. And boy, have we felt the lack that comes when we can't shake a hand, give a hug, or listen to a rabbi sermon live. Personally, I must say, this has been very hard. The best part of my job, or the way I like calling it, my calling, was the interaction with each person. To chat, to connect, to dance, to cry, to be complete. And yet, this time has also allowed, ironically, for new connections. The relationships that came through social media and other platforms have been deeply rewarding. Think of just this weekly Facebook that you're watching and the incredible community it's created. It all started after lockdown. So if you're a new friend or an old friend that we've connected deeper during this time, leave a note in the comments. Let me know. The virtual connection is different, but it is still meaningful. The weekly engagement with you all is very precious. You complete me. This doesn't take away the pain that distancing has brought, but it's still a gift nonetheless. And so I conclude. I pray for better days. I pray to see you, my dear friends, face to face. But until then, I'm so grateful to be able to be with you, even if virtually. Alone, I'm a half a shekel. Together, we are complete. So let's be there for each other. Let's look out for one another. Let's be the half that the other person needs. And on that note, my better half, Rebetzin Eti, joins me in wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom. We love you.